like we got nominated for the Icelandic Music Awards like last week. I saw right. that's, that's like the first metal album that's that's like uh, nominated. Oh really? So, that, so that's that's pretty cool. That's but makes total but like, sense, dude. Yeah, and, and I've talked to so many people who are like, yeah, like that's that's actually really cool, you know. Because, <laughs> and I, I I'm yeah. pretty sure that that's mainly due to like two factors. Like it's super fast, so like that's a pretty like undeniable thing. You listen to it and it's like, damn, that's fast. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. second thing is is the melodies because the melodies sort of yeah. seep into everyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, so I've heard from like like people I would never suspect to like when we're just always listening to it in the gym and like really <laughs> okay yeah that's awesome that's awesome yeah I think yeah, like I a think lot of those uh, oh. yeah you go first you go first I was just gonna say like back to the melodies like I think one of the distinctions with those style of melodies is like and kind of different from a lot of other folks is like they keep like ascending like they don't like mm. descend as much. They just keep going up. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think but I think it's it's also pretty funny that you mentioned Eurovision before, and you were talking about the the music continually uh, elevating because that's like a typical Eurovision element to you know in the yeah. middle of the song they elevate to another. Uh, mm, okay. Another key, yeah. Else, yeah, another key, and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah. probably like very, very, very subconsciously, like Eurovision probably influences everyone in this country a little bit when they're creating something. <laughs> you know, yeah. even even if we used to be like, especially when I was a teenager, I was like a black metal kid and like only darkness and you know never laughing yeah. at jokes or anything, but still. You would go to a Eurovision party, you know. Those used to be the most. <laughs> yeah, and when, yeah. And the event was on TV. We would all fucking meet up and uh, so, yeah, like watch it intensely and and all the glamour and all the show, you know. Yeah, okay. and and, uh, and also Rules. like it's it's almost like a political event where like huh. like you're you're huh. debating like the like the uh, French song opposed to the uh, the <laughs> British one or anything or something like it's it's uh, a yeah. so it's like it's a matter like a very, of national it's pride. also like a pretty serious thing you know it's obviously yeah. entertainment yeah. but it but it's like if if you're going to be entertained by it you have to put on your Eurovision shoes and do it like properly and like <laughs> you have to be able to debate it and like no that song doesn't have a strong enough hook or, or you know <laughs> the singer just isn't cutting it you know and also yeah, visually yeah. those performances are insane you know they put like so much into the production like all the artists and stuff it's yeah cool. yeah it's crazy like even the even the just the uh, uh like the uh, pre finals or whatever you would call them here in Iceland is uh -huh. like a huge event and like it's three weekends you know so it's you know did you guys watch the Will Ferrell movie yet I I know it's like yeah yeah did you think it was funny or did you like ah? <laughs> it, it's not a good food a good movie you know yeah. it's, it's oh, like a, but, but like you know the, the Icelandic jokes I, I don't mind like uh, I grew up in Akureyri which is fairly close to Husavik and Husavik sucks oh, so it's so it doesn't bother me at all but it's a beautiful town, though. But it's like a, it's it's like a minor rivalry between Ikorere and Husavik. <laughs> so, uh, Husavik is actually pretty great. I, I can say it because I'm not from Ikorere, but yeah, it was just <laughs> I thought the movie was pretty sweet, just because of the yeah. I like when they make fun of Icelanders because we all think we're the greatest. Sometimes we need to sometimes be yeah, totally, totally, enough. super necessary. I like some of the songs, like the first one, Volcano Man. It was cracking. Me yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's also so, so weird to uh, like when I was watching it and I started to like be aware that I was like so had been so like brainwashed by the Eurovision huh. just the format of the competition where like like when they were like just going out on stage and performing another song and stuff like that it's like it could never happen in Eurovision. Like that movie got it really popular in the US and now the US yeah. created some like biting Eurovision thing. They're yeah. like, Yeah, I've really? been watching yeah. it. I've been watching yeah, it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Like Snoop Dogg who is the whole yeah. 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 What's it called? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's like America's top song or something? Yeah. America's yeah, top yeah, song. Like Do they yeah, have America song? How many American top American fucking song songs do we have, dude? <laughs> Apparently not enough. <laughs> America's top chef, America's top this. Oh, like, it's always, everyone has to be the best. You gotta take it to the top, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, which is exactly what Ophidi and I did with this fucking album we're talking about today. There you go. Exactly. Back around, Anthony. Boom. At this um, Icelandic Music Awards that we were at this week, we just met the previous drummer and also the guy who made that Storm of Glow video that you were talking about. And he, 
he lives in a different part, or he just actually moved to Reykjavik. So he, he lived in Isafjörður, where actually Simon comes from as well. And he, he, I think he shot some of those drone shots on his way to Reykjavik, where he was going to meet us to, to do the actual video. So nice. really, really beautiful area that he lived. He comes from, yeah. So it was nice to meet those guys again. And I was telling him about those um, music awards that he should have been nominated for the best video. But yeah. I think that it was it was enough for the academy to just give us one slot because yeah then you got these pop singers who get like nine awards or something yeah yeah for sure did you get did you dress up all nice and stuff like did you guys put on a tie and and iron your your <laughs> iron your shirts yeah you have, you have to do the whole thing totally, totally. <laughs> nice yeah well, I mean we we were still wearing like not leather jackets and stuff but like. I don't know. You, you, we were, none of us were just wearing like a cannibal corpse T-shirt with. A, <laughs> yeah, no, I like I like dressing up. So that's why I'm asking. I'm totally, like, totally, hey, yeah. And it, it it's a raging party as well. Like like once it's done, it's like all bets are off. It's because you know, like the people whom are, whom are in the uh, genres that are often like the most uptight are the ones that party the hardest. Yeah, at least <laughs> that's, that, that's my experience, and that was this was no exception. It was pretty crazy. That's awesome. Hell yeah.